Hi students, today we are discussing about the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosomes uh, in the class of 8th class, need biology, CDF points. Okay, the first point, first we, uh, first we are discussing about the endoplasmic reticulum. So the endoplasmic reticulum is a large organal compound of membrane sheets and tubules that start near the nucleus and stretch throughout the cell. So this endoplasmic reticulum start near the nucleus and stretch throughout the cytoplasm or cell. The endoplasmic reticulum embedded with ribosomes on its surface is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. So in this endoplasmic reticulum, Embedded with the ribosomes, this is called rough endoplasmic reticulum. And, uh, and uh, there is no ribosomes in the endoplasmic reticulum. This region is called smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in the synthesis of lipids, and rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in the synthesis of proteins. And a very important point: endoplasmic reticulum acts as an ultra structural skeletal framework in the cell and provides mechanical support and it helps in formation of transportation of proteins and lipids in membrane biogenesis. We already know about that. Plasma membrane is made up of proteins and also lipids. So this is the central dogma. First, DNA, DNA, uh, from, uh, DNA splits to form RNA. Finally, RNA forms into proteins. Next, Golgi body. So, Golgi apparatus, it is also called Golgi apparatus, is the membrane bound organelle in the eukaryotic cells. What is the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell? In prokaryotic cell, there is no well organized nucleus. In eukaryotic cell, there is well organized nucleus. And eukaryotic cells, which are mainly involved in transporting, transporting synthesized macromolecules within the cell the major important function is the transporting synthesized macromolecules within the cell what are the macromolecules carbohydrates lipids proteins and also nucleic acids and this is the golgi complex this transface this is the cis phase these are the secretory vesicles this is the cisterna this is the lumen and uh, concave surface of cisterna which is towards the membrane is called transphase of our maturing phase and vesicles so spherical structures arise by budding from tubules vesicles are filled with the secretory materials vesicles are filled with the secretory materials so Golgi body involves in secretion of enzymes and also hormones in our human body approximately 25,000 to 30,000 enzymes are there and hormones, different hormones secreted in our human body adrenaline hormone, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone and these are all the hormones, testosterone, estrogen, progesterone these are all the hormones, these are all the hormones secreted by different different glands Golgi body modifies proteins and lipids to synthesis glycoproteins and also glyco lipids these are these the glycoproteins and glycolipids so glycoproteins and glycolipids are short chain carbohydrates attached to proteins and lipids on the extracellular side of the membrane this is the glycolipid and also glycoprotein these are attached to the extracellular side of the membrane so next one is the lysosomes so this is the lipid bilayer is the membrane hydrolytic enzyme mixture and the glycosylated membrane transport of proteins now we'll discuss about the lysosomes this is very important lysosomes are spherical bodies with the powerful hydrolytic enzymes uh, and these enzymes are capable to help the digestion of carbohydrates proteins lipids and also nucleic acid nucleic acid is a dna and also rna dna full form deoxyribonucleic acid RNA full from ribonucleic acid. DNA is the DNA as a genetic material. And lysosomes are also known as the suicidal bags of the 
cell and the lysosomes can destroy foreign bodies such as bacteria damaged cells by process called autophagy or autophagocytosis autophagy autophagocytosis process takes place through the lysosomes now we will discuss about the some model questions for, for the cdf examination the first question which organal composed of membrane sheets and tubules which organal composed of membrane sheets and tubules the answer is the endoplasmic reticulum which organal starts near the nucleus and stretch throughout the cell it is also endoplasmic reticulum what is the function of rough endoplasmic reticulum synthesis of proteins and also synthesis of proteins what is the function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesis of lipids which organal acts as ultra structural framework in the cell endoplasmic reticulum formation and transportation of proteins and lipids for which process membrane bio